Hey everyone, this is Zama, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a sewing video. And it is a crop top and some high waisted shorts. I originally wanted to make this set before my Hawaii trip, and I wasn't able to. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen my pictures of Hawaii. Hawaii is so pretty, and I love the tropical weather, it's so green. Oh my gosh, if you've never gone to Hawaii, you need to put it in your bucket list. So make sure to check out my Instagram um, to see those pictures. So I wasn't able to make it for the trip and I came back and I was like, oh my gosh, like I still have to make this set because I had it in my mind, I envisioned it. So I decided to make a video and I'm going to show you guys how I did the crop top and high waisted shorts. And make sure to grab a cup of tea or coffee. It is a little longer because I'm showing you guys how to make the top and the shorts. If In my channel, I've never showed how to make some shorts because I always thought it was pretty challenging to make some shorts. But honestly, it's super easy. And without any further ado, and before I start rambling, let's get started. So the first two items that you guys need is a shirt and some shorts. These are very comfortable shorts and they have elastic along the waistband. And I have this shirt as well and it's not going to be a complete shirt, it's going to be a crop top. So these two pieces we're going to use to replicate and make a matching crop top and some high waisted shorts. So we're going to start with the measurements and make sure you have a measuring tape and you're gonna measure your chest, waist, and hips. My chest is 34 and a half, waist is 26 and a half, and hips are 39 inches. And make sure to add, I added half an inch because we are gonna be sewing. So these are our measurements, and I use these measurements just to make sure when I cut these two pieces that they will fit my body. So then we're gonna start cutting the top. So this is a piece of fabric and it's already folded in half. The folding is along this side and make sure it stretches horizontally and not vertically when you're laying the piece of fabric in the floor. So just so we kind of, so I kind of explain it to you guys. This is the shirt we're going to be using. This is already laid like that. You can cut it just like so and put it right on top and follow the shirt laid flat like this or what I like to do is so both sides are equal and they're cut at the same time I like to do it like this and I like to follow my pattern like that so the next step is to fold this fabric again in half and we're gonna fold it like this So this is folded another time. And the reason why we do this is so we work with our shirt half ways. So we fold it half, just like so, and we get to cut both the front and the back at the same time. So this is how it's folded. and. I like to be very, uh, I like to utilize all my fabric, so I try to place it as close to what I think, to what I'm going to be using. So that's why I kind of changed the, the folding. So this is kind of how it should look like. So the next step is using our measurements and you need a measuring tape. 
So my chest measurement was 34 and a half. So I'm going to try to see where 34 and a half is. So 34 and a half is here. This is half, and I'm going to half it one more time. Just because we've split the shirt in half, just like so. So, since we are using this shirt as a guide, I'm going to put a little mark right here. So this is our chest right here. And our waist, my waist was 26 and one half. So I'm going to grab my measurement, 26 and a half. This is what it is. I'm going to split it in half. And make sure to measure as well from the top to where your waist is located at. Mine is 12 inches, so I measured from here to 12 inches. And also made a line right here. So this is my waist. And since this is a long top, I also measured how long I wanted it. So I'm going to want it 18 inches long. So right here, and I'm also going to make a line there. So once we have these lines, this is the chest, waist, and how long we want it, we're going to start connecting these. So this is the chest. I'm going to connect it to the waist. And this is where my shirt's going to end. And we're going to follow this same pattern. So I'm going to make the armpit like so and follow the same top as well so so I'm going to show you closer up everything is marked so my top is going to start here, so from right here, and then this is the waist, this is the chest, so I connected that right there, and then I made the armhole right there, and then I made a straight line here, and also curved it along here. So you want to replicate the same thing. Obviously this shirt has a different stretch as this fabric so it's going to vary so don't be worried if this shirt is way um, smaller than this one so as long as you do have those measurements you'll be fine because you'll know that it will fit and the next step is to work on the top top piece of fabric so we want to make this cut for the front so you're also going to grab your chalk, you're going to grab right here to where it's cut, so it'd be here. So we'll make a little mark there, and then the neckline ends here, so we'll make another mark there. And you're going to lift up the shirt and you're going to make another mark here, kind of feel it like that make another mark here and then connect it so you can see that I have my front neckline right here we're gonna be cutting so first I'm gonna start cutting the bottom then I'm gonna cut the top I'm going to cut the top right here, sides.
and this is the top portion so the next step is we're gonna cut the neckline so you're gonna be very careful and fold this remove the bottom portion just enough so you can cut the front So this is obviously the top piece of fabric and this is the back piece of fabric. So now the next step with the top piece of fabric is I like to do an inner lining and this is easier so the neckline and armpits look um, like they've been hemmed. So you're pretty much going to grab the same piece, replicate it, you're just going to make it shorter. Okay, so. We're going to copy the same one. And this is the top portion. And like I said before, I like to do this so it looks cleaner along the armpit and the neckline. Now obviously we need the same thing for the back so we're gonna replicate the same thing obviously shorter okay. So now this is the back portion and remember this is a top portion and this is the inner lining. This is the complete top and these two that are on top are the inner linings and you could tell that these on the bottom are the fabric that's going to be on the outside of the shirt and the next part is to sew so we're going to be sewing it and so first we're going to be sewing along this portion so make sure to pay attention right now to know where to sew and you can also obviously go back in the video so we're going to sew along here only along here so you're going to attach both pieces along here not here which is your shoulder you're not going to do this you're going to sew along the armpits along here And also along so for this piece over here you're gonna be sewing along the neckline right here so you're gonna sew both of these pieces together and you're gonna do the same thing to the armpit okay and this armpit as well like once they're sewn so now I'm going to be putting them inside out this is obviously the back and this is the front and now we're going to be attaching them so you're just going to do plop it on top once you have them on top of each other so now you're going to be sewing this right here so you're going to do a line straight across, a line straight across, and now you're going to be attaching and sewing both, both sides. So you're going to be doing a straight line on both ends. So once you have that, you have a complete piece, and then we can start working on the shorts. So I'm going to sew that, and then, then I'm going to be showing you guys how it looks. So make sure to sew here and these sides so this right here as well so this is how it looks i'm super excited it looks super good and now you get to turn it inside out and ta -da! this is what it should look like so it looks super nice so this is how the top looks 
and I haven't sewn the bottom yet because I want to know if I want it either the same length I cut it or a little shorter so I'm gonna wait until I have the shorts done but um, I will hem it and I am gonna hem it just the traditional hem which is fold fold and then just sew we're gonna be working on our shorts and this is my piece of fabric and it's already folded in half it's folded right here so there's two pieces and obviously this is a side that wants to be seen outside and so we're gonna grab our shorts and I'm gonna show you how to fold them so we kind of use them as a pattern so these are the shorts we're gonna turn them inside out and this is how it looks this is a front and then this is the back and we're gonna grab our bottom so the crotch area we're gonna fold it like this we're gonna grab the leg area and we're gonna use it just like this as a pattern because it's gonna be the easiest way and so remember, I'm going to do it actually with a pen so it's more visible to you guys. And we're going to copy the bottom. I'm going to add about an inch and a half. And remember, so we're going to copy the bottom. Just like that and I'm gonna add a little more on the top because I want a more high-waisted so I'm gonna add this much so we're gonna go like this so and we're gonna do the other side. So remember the top is gonna be straight. Okay, so this is how it should look. And now I am going to be cutting it. And we are going to be sewing along. Just for right now, we're going to be sewing along here and along here for now okay so first let's sew that and then once that's sewn we are going to connect this with this side but for now let's just do these sides so this is how it looks once it's sewn from the sides and now we are going to flip it as if it were the shorts already and we're gonna grab the bottom, which is a crotch. And then we are going to sew this bottom part. So just straight across. 
So this is how it looks once I have sewn the crotch already. So you can already tell that it's a cute little pair of shorts coming along. And we're going to be sewing the elastic along the top. So what we're going to grab is our elastic and make sure you already put it on your waist and figure out how much you need. And I've already done that. So we're just going to put it and we're going to start along the back. So we're going to place it right on top. And we're going to fold over a little piece of fabric, just like so, just like so. And we're going to be sewing it right on top. So this is how it looks once it's completely sewn. So I hemmed the bottom and I hemmed the lower part of the crop top. And this is how it looks. crop top and these are the shorts I really really like it and I'm obviously gonna make this because I have more fabric into other colors so I'm definitely gonna be replicating this same set and hopefully you guys like this too make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it if you guys have any suggestions for other videos make sure to comment down below any videos I'd like to make so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.